Hello, it's me, and today we're going to go over the solve of this Master Pent Ultimate by MF8. So, uh, skipping over the Pent Ultimate, when looking at a Master Pent Ultimate, the question is, can I correlate this with another kind of a puzzle? Well, I always thought the Pent Ultimate looks exactly like a dodecahedral version of a cube, and that's actually what it is. So, I'm going to correlate the Master Pent Ultimate as the dodecahedral version of a Master's Cube. So, I think that the basic structure of this is uh, pretty similar if this would be expanded out and I really like other shape variations of known puzzles. So notice that uh, this extends right down towards the center as I turn this I'm dragging a lot with it. So to here as I turn this I'm taking these corners over here. So the difference is well it appears to be a deep cut face turner being a dodecahedron this is a deep cut corner turner, but it's really the same kind of a kind of a structure, I think. So the first thing to look at is the type of algorithms, and I'm going to be correlating the algorithms of this guy with this over here. The order of the solve is going to be the same. First off, I do the skew portion. In this case, it'll be the penultimate portion, where I put the centers and the corners all around the centers in. So uh, the way that algorithm is going to work is first thing I want to do is get the centers where they're supposed to be. To move the centers around, just like with a skew, if I go down, down, up, up, what that did is it flipped these two centers and also flipped these two centers. Down, down, up, up. Well, so too here, if I do the same algorithm but moving this down, I'll flip these two centers and these two centers. So that'll look like this, down, down, up, up. So these flipped and these flipped and all the other centers stayed exactly the same. A lot happened here but we don't care about that yet. Move it back, down, down, up, and up. Okay, now how about the corners here? These guys over here. So um, this is going to be a very similar way that we can move corners in with this guy. Now to move corners in, I would do a version of a down, down, up, up, but that's not going to work so good. It doesn't translate so well in the dodecahedral version. So I'm going to make use of a way of moving, swapping these guys by going down, down, up, up. So what happened there is these two flip-flopped and these two flip-flopped. So these two and these two. Down, down, up, up. I'm going to do a version of that, but to make it make sense, I'm going to use this and this corner. I'm going to be flipping these two corners. And instead of doing just one down, down, up, up, i got to take this and move this into this spot, just like I took this and move this into this spot. One down did it. Here, if I want to move this to here, I'm going to go one, two. Two downs have to do it. And the way that this is going to work is I have to do it three times. I have to do a down, down, up, up three times to get these two to flip-flop. But that's not the only thing that's going to flip-flop. These two will flip-flop and these two. So you can imagine you have maybe top here. This and this are going to flip-flop. Then go just below that, skip this one, and look at these two. And the way that this is going to work is we're going to do down, down, up, up three times, but it has to be two downs. So we have down, down down, down, up, 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 that's one, down, 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 up, 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 that's two, and down, 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 up, 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 that's three. So notice what happened is this went here and this went here and these guys flip-flopped over here. Now the other thing to notice too is whatever color is facing up here will end up over here. Whatever color is facing up here will end up over here. So the white one, the white, pink, and um, peach came down to here with the red facing up and the white, yellow, and dark pink I guess ended up over here with the white one facing up. These guys, uh, when it flip-flopped, um, this color went here, and this color went here. So when I flip-flop it back, this green will come over here, and this blue will come over here. So imagine this sort of flipping like that. What I like about this is nothing else changed. So once you get the centers in, 
nothing else really changed. So this could actually be among my last steps to do. But in any case, these centers are going to come in, then these guys are going to come in. So we'll go to get it back, down, 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 down. Up, 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 that's one, down, 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 up, 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 that's two, pop that back in, and down, 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 up, 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 that's three, and these guys love to pop out. Okay. So once we get that, what about these guys over here and these guys over here? So these corners here, or these edges rather, I'm going to correlate, correlate that with these edges here. And the way that algorithm works, as you recall, is this will come here, this will come here, and this will come here. By simply doing the algorithm down, 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 up, up, down, up, up. So as you can see, that's what happened. This one went here, this one went here, and this one went here. Down, down, up, up, down, up, and again. So finally, this will come here, this will come here, this will come here. You see, we did a lot of nasty stuff here. We don't really care about that yet. Down, 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 up, up, down, up. Up and we get it back. So remember, in terms of moving this, you can tell which one is going to participate because it's the one that's going to slide across up to here, right over there. So I figured I can correlate something very similar with this, but I have to translate it into dodecahedral form. So I figure these two are right opposite each other. So I can take a look at these two. And the one that's going to participate, if I move an edge, a middle slice up like I did, it's going to be this one. So this to here, this to here, and this to here. And the, but the algorithm might have to be a little bit different. So what we'll do is with this in front of us, I'm going to move this to here. This will come way down here, and this will come here with a, exactly the same algorithm with this slice coming out. So these two, and that's going to be down, 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 up. And then up, down, up, up. Okay, so what you saw happen is indeed this did go to here, it shifted to here, this went all the way down here, and this silver and peach went up to here. So it did nasty stuff to here, but we don't really care. Uh, just for practice again, again, this will come to here, so down, down. Down, up, up, down, up, up, and then one more. We'll take this screen to here. This will come here, and this will come here. So down, 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 up, and up, down, up, up. Oh, blue to stop again. Okay, so we have the same algorithm to get these in as we did these, and then we finally have this, um, these pieces over here. As you recall, in the master's cube, that algorithm, again, making use of our down, down, up type commutator, that will take this, move this to here, this to here, and this to here. And the way that's going to look is we go up, and before when we did down, down, up, this would be facing us, the edge would be facing us, just like this edge was facing us in the last one. Now the corner's gonna face us as we move these guys. So, so we're gonna go up, down, down, up, and then down, down, up, up. And this does a clean swap of these guys without affecting the previous step. So um, if we wanted to, well, get it back, once again, we'll go up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, and once more, this to here, this to here, this to here, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up. Now notice I started off with an up 
in the middle slice. Whereas when I did this version to move these, I started with a down. So, finally, what can I do with that? Maybe the same thing over here, moving it to the side. And what this is going to do is, well, we had this facing off against these two. So we're going to do something similar, only this will move to here, this will move to here, and this will move to here. Can I do exactly the same algorithm? So the form of this algorithm is pretty much going to be the same, um, but instead of moving these guys, I'm going to move this. So if this goes to here, this goes to here, and this goes to here with the algorithm that I just showed, to make this go to here, this go to here, and this go to here, I'm still going to do down, down, up, up, but instead of moving, um, and actually even the movement's going to be the same, instead of moving it down like I did to move this into place, to bring this to here, I'm going to move it up. And also, instead of going down, down, up, up, so that I don't affect these edges, to get them out of the way, I'll go two down, 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 up, up. So watch what happens when I do that. Instead of down, down, up, up, I'm going to go down, 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 up, up. Same thing, but it won't affect these guys because they're going to be taken out of the way by moving them down twice. Down, down, see? That's out of the way. And it won't affect this either. And the way that's going to work is we're going to go up, then down, 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 up, up, then bring this down, and down, down, up, 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 up. And basically it didn't affect anything except for these three, just like we did with this. This went to here, this went to here, and this went to here. So once again, we bring it up, and then we go down, 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 up, up, and then bring it down, 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 up, 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 up. So just it's just the opposite. Now this to here, this to here, and this to here. So that will be up, down, 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 up, up. And now just the opposite, where we go down. Down, down, up, 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 up. And there you have it. So basically, you can see that the algorithms and the solve of the Master Pentultimate follows pretty much exactly the same algorithms as a uh, as Master Skew. And I really love that concept that I have a dodecahedral version of a cubic puzzle here. Named very different for some reason, but it's really the same kind of a puzzle. Now even though you know the very basics of the algorithm, the challenge in this puzzle is going to be the setups. So um, I'm going to go through a full solve of this and show you just how I do in terms of the repositioning and the positioning of it. There are times where I put pieces in intuitively and times where algorithms have to take over. So uh, we will get into that.